Well, hi there, how's it going? Up to Larry's tonight, Thursday the 16th of July, and I have decided to take the easy option and fish the RMI shore. I was here last night and had good crack, now I must admit. Uh, tonight I'll mostly be using this wee dry in the point of taking the tape of the leader down to four pound breaking strain. This is about a size, it's probably about a size 18, I'm not entirely sure. It was lurking in my box for years and I never used it. Uh, but I had a bit of crack on it last night and I just put a nymph on a dropper to get the cast to sink a wee bit. And I also have never even used that before either. Pretty nondescript, a bit of twinkly stuff in it. A little far out, there's a few fish raising. Actually more so up that direction. But that they're not going to tempt me up. I like I like a wee bit of a breeze. There's a wee fish there now. Uh, it said that the wind was going to be a westerly, which is straight that way. It has veered round. It's more southwesterly, but it should be good. It's very very mild. It's going to be a most pleasant evening to be sitting here doing a bit of fishing. So oh, there's a lot of fish there now. I'll give this. A here's the, here's the family, and they're getting big. I get them on the phone as well. It's very. It seems very lazy. Just sitting fishing on a on a seat, but I tell you, it's a revelation. I have stood many a time until I'm sore. Who doesn't love a first cast? There's a fish there. The wee nymph, there we go. Oh, he went for it and missed it. And I caught the grass behind me in my excitement. We'll try that again. Come on, fish. We'll try this wee gap. There we go. Oh, he went for it. Did you see that? Coming short. Right, we fly. Come on. I'll try over here again. I'll bring you back when I catch one. The most gentle of ticks. That's quite a, quite a small fish. I'm gonna get myself down here. It's on the wee on the wee dry fly, the wee gnat. Well, there, there he's away there. <laughs> you see that? Did you see that? And again, let's see if I can try and <laughs> get this one landed this time. I could really do with a long handled net. And I'm playing these very lightly because I only have that four pound fluorocarbon on and I don't like horsing them in, which is what I would usually do at this stage. That's actually quite a, that's a decent fish. That's, what it is. that's a very nice fish. Where's that wee fly? Let's say, turn over, turn over, don't. Right in the corner there in the bottom lip. Hook out. That's a good 
pound and a quarter of fish. Let's see you come back, sir. There he goes, back out that way. Nice. Well, this looks promising, doesn't it? Don't sound too cocky though. Pride comes before the fall. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that wee thing there might be fishing better. Slightly sunk. The nymph that's supposed to be sinking is floating and the dry fly that's supposed to be floating is sinking. Is that just me or... Did, oh, there's one came up for the nymph, which <laughs> the floating nymph. And there we go. Ah! Brrr. He took it and let it go again. I've tied a wee, oh we went for it, I've tied a wee um, bloodworm sort of red buzzer thing on the dropper to try and get the cast to sink down a wee bit and I've still got the wee knot on the end and a, a, a kink in my, a knot, I've got a knot in my fly line it's surely it's not just me that this happens to is it? Sort of a dog for a wee bit there. That's on the wee drag again. The wee net. Phones. Away you go. Bye. Another wee one on the wee nap. A very gentle take again. I get down off my perch without falling in. That would be a good idea. Come on. And the fly fell out of his mouth. It's actually not a bad fish either. Right, let's get you back. There you go. It's going to say there's no way to rush to get away. Okay. Pleasant and all, as a sedentary style of fishing is, sitting over in the RMI shore, leisurely casting a dry fly to raising fish. I just thought I'd have to come round to the other side to see if this fly, the wee natty thing, will work. So I'm going to start here and work my way down towards the ramper and across night there, at which stage I will definitely have the wind hitting me up the bake. So it'll not be just as um, delicate as it was at the far side, it'll be a bit of a thrashing match, but let's see what happens with this fly. Now, the strangest thing is, the fish always rise over this side, and there's absolutely not a sign of a fish anywhere. Now this is the, just, they're normally just bubbling here, and there's the sages are starting to come out as well. Maybe I'm just a wee bit early, but like even at that, there's nearly always something raising here. Of course, the one night I decided to leave a good spot, and that's, yeah, that's typical. Now I have to say, this is strange. I'm out in the ramper now, and there is not a single fish moving. None. I mean, this time any other night 
this place is boiling with fish. So I've got nothing to cast to. And I'm sort of just waiting for something to happen. Unexpected pleasure. And the hook side. The fish just took the, the gnat as well. It didn't, didn't even raise, it just appeared and that was it. Let's get it back. Bye. Maybe I'll keep it on for a while yet. That's a decent fish, isn't it? Hook out. Way back. And there's a few more moving. It's looking good. There's another wee one that's fallen to that wee dry fly. Come here you. Get the balls out. Right, this time. That was a bit of a palaver. Turn over. There you go. Away. I took it rather confidently. See me fly. And it was definitely submerged, it wasn't floating. Well, he's away. Come on, you boy. Well, he is away. <laughs> there you go. He, he took me round those weeds. And got off. Clever fish. Well, I've tied the wee deer hair sedge that I've been using recently onto the dropper and I still have the wee gnat and the point fly. That's basically two drays on here, but I haven't had any response now. But the rays has dropped off a wee bit for the minute. And I'm still pretending that I'm dry fly fishing here, you know what I mean? I'm not just lashing it out and hauling it back, which is basically what I generally do. I haven't tried the quick retrieve trick yet. It's only a matter of time though. They're starting to raise there now again. Look at that, that's unreal. Right there. <laughs> I need something a bit more sedgy in the point. A green Peter. Or a deer hair sedge, another we want to have. Try it. He just came up and took it. That's not the one on the point, that's the one on the dropper. Oh no, it is the one on the point. How did he do that? I never even saw that. This feels like a better fish, but I don't know. No, nope, you, know, you know what I think? I think it's foul hooked. This surely. Elmo. <laughs> he went up for the first fly and took the second. I got caught in the second. Where'd he go? Very unceremonious. He was hooking the belly button. All the way back. That was a greedy. Go. Right, I'm going to give this one more shot before I change tack altogether because they weren't really weren't working for the number of fish that they were raising. 
uh, those two flays were just doing nothing. This is on that same flay, but I don't even know what you call the flay. Right, hang on. No way you go. And again, next cast. I think this one's on the dropper, yeah. Which is actually a wee home tied buzzer. <laughs> well, he touched the net, that's close enough. Oh, he jumped right over the top of it, and he took it. Get a shorter lane, get him into the net this time. Right, how long, how long, how long, how long? That might be a, a forceps job, I think. Yeah, it's inside the mouth. I'll bring you back in a minute. Oh, boy, so. You wanted that. Just not enough to take it. <laughs> That's <laughs> missed that one as well. Right, come on, fish. Yep. And off again. Another nice tick. And he's on the wee buzzer. That's all right. Where'd you go? Come on. And there's the hook out in the corner of the net. Come on, fish. A little bit over there. Hungry fish. Okay, we've done it now. We've got two fish <laughs> all at the same time. How do you do this? <laughs> oh dear, oh, come back. Go back. Right, I'm getting one in the net. That's one in the net. <laughs> and I'll just have to hand lay another one in. Well, the hook side of the first one. Ah, get in. Go fly me. <laughs> there you go. Twins. Right pair. I'll be days or what? Come back. I 
think we'll just end the video there because it's 25 past 10. And I don't have words for the quality of fishing that we're getting here. And the number of fish that we're catching, it's just unbelievable. So, until the next time, all the best.